What's up, guys? Neil Orfield here, taking a look at some FanDuel lineups in the Stochastic NFL DFS lineup generator. Again, if you're looking for DraftKings lineups, I've already made that video. It's already published on the Stochastic YouTube page. So if that's what you're looking for, you can find that elsewhere. Let me know in the comments what you think about me breaking up FanDuel from DraftKings. Generally, feedback has been positive so far, but if you disagree with that, I'm still going back and forth on whether I want to combine them, keep them together in these videos. For now, separating DraftKings and FanDuel. While you're coming in, please like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so, and hit that notification button so you can get alerts when our shows go live. If you haven't yet signed up for the lineup generator, link in the description of this video. It's just $14.95 per week. You're going to get all of your DraftKings main slate lineups, FanDuel main slate lineups, DraftKings showdown lineups, FanDuel single game lineups for all of the primetime showdown slates. Fantastic deal. All of these lineups for just $14.95 per week and every single lineup you're going to get in this tool is going to be a long-term plus ev profitable lineup every bad lineup has been thrown out so you're only getting positive ev lineups here all right i'm going to do FanDuel single game and for me i'm going straight to the contrarian lineups bucket i don't want to have lineups that are going to be duplicated a ton i want lineups that are going to be pretty unique here so that if i do win which is really hard to do i want to win a lot of money i don't want to be duplicated two thousand times and you know just win you know a thousand bucks i want to win fifty thousand bucks i want to win big money here so i'm going to some contrarian lineups but i want to be clear i am making these lineups for the largest field gpps on fanduel if you're playing smaller field stuff i would just go to the chalky lineups bucket play some lineups that project a little bit better you don't need to get as weird i'm playing the largest field gpp so i'd rather go to the contrarian lineups bucket I'm also going to use standard projections, but if you want to specify a certain game script, you can see all the different game scripts here. Both teams going over their total is the top one. Both teams going under their total is the bottom one. You can figure it out from there. Pretty straightforward how to use this tool. Now I'm going to go to standard projections, so I'm not going to specify a game script. All right, first lineup we see here, I can tell right away that this is not a lineup that I want to use because I want to make lineups that are going to, or to play lineups that are going to be not duplicated a ton. This one's only leaving 500 on the table. So for me, this one is a little bit too likely to be duplicated a bit, so I'm not going to use this one. Same one, same thing with the second one, same thing with the third. This one's using the full salary. I'm going to go until I find one. Okay, here we go. We have Alvin Kamara in the MVP spot. So that means that he needs to be the highest scoring player in this lineup for this to work out certainly viable for alvin Kamara to be the highest scoring player We've got chris olave in there no quarterbacks in this one so we don't need to worry about correlation we've also got the jaguars defense so this is a lineup that kind of assumes probably low scoring and also jaguars offense in particular not putting up many points um, but definitely viable to have jaguars defense in there michael thomas and saints defense so both defenses Kamara in the mvp and then olave and michael thomas looks good to me we're leaving five thousand on the table love to see that projects well Definitely looks like a viable lineup to me. So I like this one for large field GPPs. This one, not, not leaving enough on the table. All right, this one, leaving 1,500 on the table and has Rashid Jaheed in the MVP spot. So I think this, uh, you can see here, Rashid Jaheed projects for 1.5% MVP ownership. So he's pretty contrarian. We've got Kamara in here with Derek Carr. So we have the combo of Derek Carr with Shahid and Kamara. And then we have uh, Christian Kirk, the only representative from the Jags and Saints defense. This looks like a lineup I would play. We're leaving 1500 on the table. Uh, that's about the minimum that I typically want to leave on the table. We're using a contrarian MVP. I think this lineup makes some sense. This is a, another one that I would play. So there's two. Not going to use this. All right, now we have the kicker Blake group in the MVP spot. This is definitely a lineup where you're not expecting a ton of scoring in the game. You've got no quarterbacks in this one. You've got Blake group in there at the MVP. And then Ridley and Kirk interestingly in the flex with no trevor lawrence but it makes sense you get half point per reception not full point on fan will be still do get a half point per reception uh and you know still the wide receiver outscores a quarterback on every single play to get more points per yard to get more points per touchdown they get more points they get points per reception which the quarterback doesn't get so definitely viable to have multiple pass catches there without the quarterback also etn in there for the jags and then michael thomas for the saints this looks viable to me. We're leaving 3,500 on the table as well. Looks like a nice lineup that I would use for the largest field GPPs on FanDuel, and I wouldn't expect we do play it a ton. So there you go. Three lineups that I would play in large field GPPs on FanDuel. Now I'm just going to go through and save until we get to the exposures page and we can see how much we're getting of each player on FanDuel. All right, we've got 53% Alvin Kamara here. 
not a big surprise. Chris Olave in the MVP. So that's a little bit surprising that we're getting so much. Chris Olave and Christian Kirk making up 87% of our MVP exposure. That's a little bit surprising to me, but certainly both viable MVPs both have the possibility of being the highest scoring players on the slate. We got 42% Trevor Lawrence, 40% ETN, 38% Saints defense. That's a little bit of a surprise to me. 38% Evan Ingram, 33%. Thomas and Shahid, 30% Derek Carr. Pretty spread out overall in terms of ownership. I think this all makes some sense. And then we also have a little, oh, we got some, we actually got some Jamal Williams on FanDuel. Uh, that's, it'll, it'll be interesting to see how the backfield breaks down for the Saints tonight. This is the first time we're going to have all three Saints running backs active in the same game. So that'll be uh, interesting to see. I'm expecting Kamara to get the bulk of the workload, but who knows? Maybe Jamal Williams goes back and takes on that goal line role that he did so well in last year for the Lions. Um, all right, that is going to do it. Again, the link is in the description of this video. It's just fifteen ninety five, sorry, fourteen ninety five per week, and you're going to get access to all of the showdown lineups, all of the main slate lineups as well for both DraftKings and FanDuel. So it's a fantastic deal. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit that like button if you haven't already done so. Good luck tonight.